Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagaso. This is Android App Development 2017. So in this video, I will teach you how to start your first Firebase project. Okay, let's go together. Okay, first you go to Google and type Firebase. So this is the Firebase. So the interface might change in the future. Now uh, we are in uh, April. 26 uh, 2017 so in the future the interface might change so anyway just click here for our first start and then uh, because you don't have any project so click on the new project here and you can type any project name you want so I just call it uh, new Khmer because uh, I am Cambodian so Khmer is a language so just call like this and then I choose my country, Cambodia. Okay, and just click uh, create project. Okay, now we have three options here. The first one, iOS, Android, web uh, app. So we're gonna choose the Android app here. And now you need to give the name for the package. So because I have my uh, website, so I have to name it with my website name, kasalgeek.com. And in Android and in Java, you have to reverse. So, not Google kusalgeek.com, it's com.kusalgeek. And then your project name. And my project name is New Khmer. Okay. And just call New Khmer like that. Okay. And this one is optional, so we don't need that. And register. And here we need to download the Google service. Okay. Now we have uh, downloaded. So if you want to see, you can open it. So basically it's about the ID, you know, um, like the API and uh, try to connect your app to the Firebase. Okay, so just know that and then we can close that. And then now uh, we have to go back to our uh, Android. So open your Android project, Android Studio. Now I use 2.3.1. Okay, click on the new project and now I will call New Khmer. Okay, and then my company name is kasalgeek.com. So the package will reverse to com.kasalgeek.newsmy. And you can see that even though I uh, try to put the space in the package name, doesn't have uh, the space. So it's okay now. Now, next. Just use all and I choose Android 4. You can uh, use navigation drawer and basic or maybe bottom as you wish. But this is the first application so maybe you want to stick with the basic activity. Okay, now our project is completed. Uh, so just uh, copy this one. So first you have to change the mode project mode like this and then you go to app here as you can see now and then you need to copy this file so just right click and copy and then pass it here okay so now the Google service is in the, the app folder now next continue and then we need to add this one. So there are two build.gradle and be careful, you may even choose this. So this one, just grab a copy of this, copy, and you go to build.gradle but in the project, okay? So here, the project, okay? So if you close this, you see the build.gradle. This is the right one, okay, outside. And then you pass it here below class path here and the second one in the project app module and uh, build.gradle so copy this code again but not in this one you have to open the app here and you will see another build.gradle and go down and pass it outside not inside dependency just outside like that okay and then you click sync so during the syncing, if you have any problem, you will see the error in the Android monitor. 
for example, like the uh, version of the drill tool, or maybe uh, the name of the application or package or something, you will see that. So if you see some problem, then you should just click according to the error. Okay. Okay. Now it's done. Let's go back here and click finish. Okay. Now your project is done, and you can see that it's working. And then after that, you will have the uh, ability to add a database, storage, hosting, and even the crash uh, reporting. You know, like your, your app has crashed. And another thing is about the money. So if you are living in a country that yeah, you can earn money by selling Android app, then you can you can see the money over here. But for me. In Cambodia, I cannot sell uh, Android app yet. Uh, Google doesn't allow me, and I think that there are many uh, countries that cannot do that. So you can do um, like the, put some advertisement, ad mob, you know. Then this one is not useful for me. But anyway, um, now my app is finished. Now I can use database and other thing. Okay. So let's run the project. So after you run it, you would see the same thing except this app now connect to the Firebase app here. Okay, and you will send a database or something. And in the future, I will make a video about it. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it to your friends. Subscribe to this video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.